Guys, we're in such a, such a stupid tilt. Like, I think it's been a while since I've been so dark into the, into this, like, rabbit hole, man. Okay. Let's do something to get out of it. We're gonna play Song High. I don't even know if it's gonna get us out of it, but I, I need... I need something, man. Man, I'm playing like shit. <sighs> it's been a while since I actually get, you know, frustrated. But I can't help it, because... We're getting so screwed. And it's it's all like because of very poor decisions, man. I'm playing I'm playing Song Hijacks. I know. The fuck? But man... Man, the struggle. Hang in there. Thank you, Harpu. I know. I know. I don't want to complain about it. Because, you know, it happens. But it gets to your... Sh to your brain. And then you're just, like... Falling without brakes. And the problem is... So, the problem is not that I feel like we're playing terrible. But it's specific turns that we just throw it all down the drain all our efforts Jesus all right yeah, coffee? yes please okay uh, let's see if hi can bring us out of this. Of course we face high, but, you know. That doesn't mean anything. I feel like uh, Wings of Paradise is a good start. Um, I'll change the Heart Seeker for now. We got our boy Jax here, but not for now. Definitely not for now. I doubt that they'll let me take the center corn the center tile, right? We 
We'll probably have to replace Jax here. Yep, yeah, no center towel for me. What you got, solo brother? I think Arkan can be huge against Songhai, by the way. I think the existence of Wings of Paradise is very threatening and they, don't, they really don't really know what to do about it. And that's good. I wish we had, we would have, uh... Let's clean the board. Yeah! I know it's not a valid target. You're the one that's telling me I have an action by leaving my general in, you know, illuminated. Don't blame me for dreaming. I can't let that live. And we do have the double draw, the extra draw from the killing edge. We got another juxtaposition which is huge. If I would have given uh, the Saber Spine Seal to this, we would have leave him down to 11. But uh, leaving the leaving them sort of mech alive meant that he could frenzy us, and it's just not worth it. Or he could just kill the Kaido. Right now, for him to kill the Kaido is kind of difficult. Uh, he can't even just killing edge the Pando. It doesn't kill it. And having uh, the juxtaposition in hand means that we're going to be able to backstab whatever we want, really. Come on, hi. I find it incredible that I feel more confident with high than with other factions. Okay. We got Jax. We just gotta be careful with this turn and see what happens and see if it, if we're allowed to play it. Cause the Iraqi's dangerous, right?
I'm surprised that they went to the corner. Okay. So this is what we do. We jux the Pando. We Heart Sister. Inner Focus. Punch here. Into Rift Walker. And, and we clear board. Because uh, the only chance of them winning right now is if if we let them have the burst and do 12 damage to us, right? Nice play. Thank you, Calvin. I'm trying. I'm trying here, man. I'm trying to get out of this. We couldn't Jax in that turn, specifically and only because of Araki. Because Araki represents a lot of damage, right? Can they do 12 damage with uh, 7 mana? Of course. It's Songhai. Come on. Are they dead if they don't? Probably. Jax also plays into big Jux. What do you mean? Okay. Should we Jax? I don't know if we should. We might die, but we're gonna do it. Okay, now we have the burst to kill him. But, oof. I think uh, we're surviving just because of the Arcan existing. Get jaxed! Come on! What you got, solo brother? Jack is. Jax is your doom. And we got 9 out of, no, 11 out of hand damage for next turn. In a ridiculous amount of 7 mana.
Jux. Okay. I mean, it's a defensive Jux, right? Which is good for me. They still have, like, eight mana. Guys, we actually won one. It had to be high. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But it had to be high. Jax there was kind of slightly underwhelming, but it did get them a lot of stuff to worry about and a lot of resources used on clearing it so it kind of did the job of course we didn't benefit of having him on board and pinging him from the corners right all right uh to be expected to face liner it has been kind of uh present in our day i really want something else so i'm gonna do the crazy thing of throwing tusk Wars away You know what? We haven't been tipping our hat, guys. And that may be the reason of everything. Like, we can't disrespect like that, man. Oh, I like that, actually. We're gonna face... We're gonna put Wings of Paradise in their face just to deny the orb and because for them to destroy it i feel like they have to like tempest punch it and that's a shitty turn isn't it did they just martyrdom a mystic gg <laughs> and th maybe they didn't have another play okay all right don't love it, but don't hate it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Kaido on Orb. And give the the killing edge here to our, our friend Wings. Having the the wings take the killing edge is kind of annoying because I would have preferred to give it to the Kaido, right? But at the same time, I give them urgency on dealing with the wings of paradise, and that means that my Kaido has that more many that that many more chances to survive. And and that's what I really care about to be honest. I mean, if wings survives, hell, I'm happy with it, right? But it's probably not going to. <laughs> it survived the, the Silver Guard Knight, and that is already enough for me. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Um, Lane. Lane, you, uh... I mean, respect, huh? Don't get me wrong. Yeah. 
I should have attacked with wings. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Well, I'll heal it. Fuck it. I'm gonna say they don't kill. Well, I let him do a perfect holy emulation next turn, don't I? I just set myself up for a holy emulation. Two drop holy emo. I could have put the healing mystic somewhere else. No, why would I do that? Makes no sense, right? I mean, I don't want to say well played. I'm, I'm, I, it would be a dick move from my side. Now we're back to what I usually do, which is play poorly but get out, get away with it, right? We today we haven't been getting away with it. <laughs> All right, Lane. Sorry, we we we're on we're on like on the need. We're, we're, we're thirsty for victories. Oh, solo brother again. I really like this hand. Nothing feels better. There's two cards I love to start a match with. Obelisk. Ethereal, of course, and Akaido. I just, I love it. I love it. Everything else is just one step below. And probably Obelisk is above Kaido, but you know. Do they have double boar? Or a healing mystic? Well, this sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. We threw our hand here. But I feel like, uh, like it was necessary. That tusk bore hurt. Deep down. And mainly because they managed to cover the path to it, right? I couldn't let that tusk bore keep going to his hand. So even though we wasted a Jux and an inner focus, I feel like we needed that type of power play to get back after their play, right? Which was just a tusk bore, but you know, it is what it is, right? Alright, we didn't really care about that. Uh, I like wings. I think I would prefer to have spells. So I'm gonna fetch for spells. Sloth was really good there, by the way. It kind of like... Sedimented. Our small comeback, right? So we invested a bunch of resources to get rid of the Tusk Boar and the Ghost Links and get slightly back on top. And then Sloth just kind of give us the extra punch to like, you know, stay on top. Repulsor Beast. Repulsor Beast. All right, sure.
All right, we're setting up the wings. We had to kill that Tuspor. Of course, it means that our Tuspor is uh, probably dead, right? But we do have another one. And if they do stay around this blue tile, I'm gonna profit it. I'm gonna profit from it with wings. And I might use juxtaposition to bring in sloth so that they cannot just attack wings, right? Because that's really that's really important. When you put something on blue, you're you're kind of like committing a lot, right? You get you get immediate benefit, but you can be punished by it. Is that a sloth as well? Mm. Confused I am. It does seem like a sloth. Yeah, it is. Okay. Unfortunately, our little bird didn't survive. I could have used the Jux to bring in the, the Sloth But ultimately I feel like I can get more value from the Jux So it's not super worth it If he does decide to kill the Tuskbore, it means that he stays on that tile And I still can profit from blue next turn This Killing Edge uh, is really interesting. Oh, they're going backwards. Nice. That's actually good for me. Oh, inner focus. Fuck. Okay, not good for me. Wow. This is a really good combo for them. They're, they're basically drawing, and they're on two cards, right? So not the worst situation for us to be in. 
But uh, it's rough. It's definitely rough. These arc. Okay. Fuck the green tile, bro. Fuck it. Will we survive to tell the tale? You'll find out in the next episode of Chocobo Sucking at Duelist. The good thing is that the provokes are double. We don't die to spiral technique. And that's pretty much it. That's where our, our hopes and dreams lay. Okay. We got lethal on board right now. That's fine. And that's fine. I mean, I don't even need to. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it was not the heart sister. <laughs> Just one step at a time, guys. You just gotta take it one step of high at a time to get out of tilt. We were struggling, man. We had, like... I think the worst streak I've had to date. And then just high came and brought happiness back into our lives all right we have to defeat a corgi one of the cutest dogs out there has to be basically slaughtered and we took a bet and we lost the bet all right but that's okay i believe what the? It's a bit stupid. But I'll do it. Not a Corgi, Nodine. I'm sorry. It's either the Corgi or us. It has to be the Corgi. 
I mean, we are Songhai. Songhai is kind of evil, you know? I don't mind taking the damage early on because I'm gonna put down some big minions. Oh, there's a photo of a corgi! My brother actually has a corgi. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's cute AF. If it was Hachi, uh, his corgi, I, I think I would, I would like, you know, I couldn't do it. I, c I would just lose. Like, th if this was me, right? And this was Hachi. And this was actually life and death. I don't think I can make it. I eat corgis. Decoy. What's wrong? What happened? What went wrong? Oh, wow. They're getting aggressive, huh? Them China taste buds. <laughs> what? Dog meat is actually poggers? I don't believe you tried it. I don't buy it. Okay, Nick Lauren, we're talking about eating. I don't know what you plan to do to that corgi, but... Licky Tongue has always had a... Uh... I've always had a weird relationship with it. Because it's a cool, it's a cool Pokemon, right? But that movement, it's just so specific, so graphic, and so repeated. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> okay. Cat mother fucking paw. I'm keeping the inner focus because I feel like I can get more damage from it. Maybe I should have just played it and got the three damage. Was that lethal? Guys, I, I wanted to finish it on a high, okay? So... I reject... I reject your claims. It wasn't. Yeah. I 
don't think it was. Oh, thank you, Harpo. Thank you. That that is the type of comment we want here. <laughs> I don't want to know when I miss lethal. Okay, I just don't want to know it. Oh man, today. Today was something else, huh? 